Greetings again all you rally car fans. So you're looking at a CM's branded uh, model of the 1977 Monte Carlo Rally Champion. And it's an awesome model. It's uh, one of the highlights in my rally car collection. And I like rally car racing because those guys are nuts. They drive on all different surfaces and the cars still look relatively like the cars you can buy. Unlike NASCAR or Formula One. Alright, well anyways, the question is has technology and time improved because now Mini GT has their version of this same 1977 winner. So let me get this CMs out of here carefully because that little antenna. And let's take a look at this thing. This is number 422. Mini GT cranking it out as usual. It's officially licensed. Uh, you know, that's why this brand is still around. Uh, the question is, is the quality control going downhill? I've had some issues. You know, it's uh, it's only logical that the more stuff you make, people are going to start slacking off. The more successful you become, people are going to start slacking off. Such like other car companies that existed in the real world, but are no more. Anyways, uh, packaging explains what it is. Pretty simple. The packaging is nice and small, so you can actually keep it. Or even if you don't keep the packaging, you don't have to feel so guilty about throwing away you know, more common packaging that's huge and wasteful. Alright, so... I've talked about this car many a time because I have many CM's versions of this, so I'm not gonna really talk about the car. Let's just look at these photos here. There's a little model kit, but it's a real photo. I think this photo is from some sort of reunion or historic re redo, but the placard actually says 1977 on it, so... I believe maybe that is the real car. It has a different registration plate though. And then we're back to here, which is, I believe, a classic photo which is based on the cameras. They had these things called cameras. Now it's just in your phone. Okay. Mm, starting with the wheels. They look pretty good. They look similar to the photographs I'm looking at. The yellow in particular, at least that first photo. And then you can see the lug nut details. You're not going to have brakes on a Mini GT, but you will get rolling in most cases. Yeah, all right. And then in most cases, tampo printing. Although not enough green there, but uh, all this is paint. It's not a decal, so it should stay pretty good for a while. All right, uh, the white base color is all right, I guess, but it's having a hard time, like all brands, trying to cover up the edges of the casting there. You have to lay it on really thick. So that's just a problem with white paint, not not Mini GT. All right, uh, there's the drivers, Munari and Maiga, Maiga, not sure. Mini GT has a rubbery mirror, is very nice. That's one of the highlights of the brand, I think. And then uh, we got this little separate wing piece, this aerodynamic add-on, or maybe it's drag inducing, I'm not sure. But you can see the stripe is it's pretty coordinated with the roof, and then the louvers, and then the back here. You know, it depends where I hold it, but right there, pretty straight. You know, obviously it changes a little bit because it's elevated. So it's nicely printed. You can see it's actually held in place by two pegs there on the corners. All right, uh, going to the top here of the windscreen, we got a molded in raised wiper blade painted black along with the rest of the molding there. We have some louvers here in the uh, front hood. And then we have uh, separate plastic pieces for the raised lights. Now the, oh, well, this is unexpected. I figured these would be plastic being mini GT and they have the ridges on the outside. What I didn't expect and I'm thankful for is these are plastic as well, these auxiliary lights. And uh, it's interesting though they wouldn't mold in little light bulbs behind all of these. They, uh, they could have easily done it, you know, but uh, they chose not to. They just have a flat surface with silver paint. Okay. Some sort of dust from the factory or something like that. What's going on on the bottom here? There's a, whoa, yeah, I'm wondering if that's plastic or metal. That uh, grate is 
Very well detailed. It must be plastic. It's too fine to be metal. And then I think that's the molding sprue. Uh, a little black paint in this a little brake duct. I'm guessing that's what it is. And then these are running lights or turn signals, but they should be white according to those photographs. So a little silver paint would have been nice there, or white paint. Oh well. But it is interesting that they were able to get the green all the way in there in the first place. What's going on here? Uh, some leftover paint or something. Alright, let me back out. Let's see if we can swap these tires around. Speaking of the tires, you can see they're staggered quite a bit. And uh, I've come to realize Mini GT put out the street versions first. And the street versions don't have these giant rear tires. They actually have normal sized... Actually, they might even be thinner than this on all four wheels. So whenever they come out with a better colorway, I might get the street version of this and you know compare that in the future. But right now I want to see if I can flip this tire around because that paint, I think that's white paint on that, that tire. Okay, no paint on this side and it still looks pretty good, so easy fix, alright. And it's, well, I gotta center on that, but the you get some curvature there in the sidewalls there, so they, they don't look like just straight extrusions of rubber or rubbery material. There's a turn signal bump here. Yeah, it's a bump painted orange nicely. All this uh, sponsorship and stuff, nice and legible. The door handle has a recess and uh, black and silver there. Yeah, okay. There's a little bit of green here on the A pillar. Maybe not enough green there covering that, unfortunately. There's a little black here. That's for the clamshell here. It's a strap holding that down, according to the photographs I'm looking at. And probably this black thing as well is probably a strap to hold down the front clamshell. Okay. Back to these louvers. I don't know. This, there's a lot of air here. This might actually be a decal. Or what's, what's happening here? Yeah, you see all this wrinkliness? And how I'm opening those gaps up? So this is a prime example why I'm always complaining about decals. Because look how brittle this is. I'm actually making it more realistic, but... You see it just so easily flakes. So all these expensive brands like Inno and Tarmac... Uh, this is going to happen to your models if you touch them. So... You might want to leave them on the base and never touch them. But anyways, obviously they would have been nicer if they just tampo printed this piece of plastic. You know, just like they did here. It's nicer that the paint is on the model itself, but still, it would have been nice to have it there as well. Okay, so the race banner or whatever you would call this thing, it's pretty legible. There's a little bump here. Not sure if that's a fuel filler or like an antenna stock. Because I'm going to guess that might be the fuel filler. Alright. Uh, a little printing there and then some more dust here from the factory or whatever. But it's the rally car so it's meant to be dirty. What's going on there? I don't know if that's a different green or not enough green. Maybe not enough. Alright, the lights are great. They're uh, thick red plastic. And there's a ring of black here. I don't know what these black things are. Oh, well... So I, bring, I brought up that modern photo of the car. In that rear photo, this is red and this is white. So this is a backup light reflector. But maybe in the real race, it, maybe they're blacked out. I'm not sure. Uh, and then what is nice here is the unequal exhaust tips. That's accurate to the real vehicle. Because this is a transverse engine and they're trying to equalize the header length. So that's kind of good that they got that. And I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure that's probably true to the real race car back in 1977. Ooh, this is cool. You know, just like the mirrors, now we have some rubber m real mud flaps. That's awesome. I think... Now, it's not the first mud flaps I've seen. They're rubbery. But they're the most realistic. They are by far the thinnest mud flaps I've seen. 
And I like how they're curved like that, so it looks like they're blown by the wind. That's awesome. That's really cool. I look forward to seeing that on more off-road vehicles from a Mini GT. Okay, on the bottom we have a metal base and it's screwed together there. Unfortunately, you can't really get to that screw very easily unless you remove this thing. But being a race car, I'm sure it had a black, yeah, it has a black interior, so I don't need to repaint this. It's going to be really hard to see the interior though with the distorted windows, but we'll try. That's the steering wheel, kind of, sort of. It's really wavy back there. Some round dials on the dashboard. There's so much curvature to this cockpit, you know, it's like an airplane cockpit. Mm, yeah, so I'm sure there's a lot of molded details in there, but unless you take it apart, you're not going to really see them. There's a stick shift right there. Hey. rearview mirror there is I think seems to be clear but it's better than nothing looks like a rearview mirror the seats there have some vertical ribbing okay so pretty good I guess this must be a pop-up vent there's no black paint there though hmm all in all, it seems, seems pretty nice. Let's compare to that CM's though. I would probably have to guess the CM's is better though, just based off my, my recollection of it. So here's the CM's. This is a secret chase version that's dirtied up. The normal one didn't have the dirty look to it. Well, let's put the uh, Mini GT closer to us. The CM's wheels, I don't think they have lug nuts. Let me pull that up a little closer. No, they do, they're just very fine. Um, see the tire tread blocks, they're spaced quite a bit. Whereas the Mini GT, you can't see the tread blocks at all from the side. I'm torn. I think I prefer the Mini GTs, but if you look at the real photographs, it's questionable if you would actually see those tread blocks. You might actually see some of them, so that's uh, your call. You might want to rewind back to those photo comparisons. Naturally, this has an antenna, which makes it look far more realistic. You notice the greens are quite different. This is a very lighter green, a very darker green, of course. Reds are relatively equal. Maybe this is darker again, or it's an illusion because it's surrounded by the dark green. Um, hmm. The side mirror, this one's nicely molded as well. It's hard plastic though. This side mirror is floating out more like the real vehicle. So the Mini GT mirror is definitely better. This one's well protected from breaking, but it should be floating out in the air like that one. Looking at the headlamps. Mini GT definitely wins, at least they have striations on the side lamps. These are just smooth all over and they don't have the little lamp detail as well. I can kind of see like a circle there and there and that's probably the peg of the plastic but I don't see it on these four either. They did manage to get orange and silver here though. But uh, I don't think the silver is accurate. Looking at the photos it looks pretty black here. But these should be silver, so either way it's not really matching the photograph that I can tell. Of course different stages of the race maybe, that could be, maybe these are covers for brake ducts and they blanked them off or something in certain instances. Uh, looking at the venting on the, the hood, I feel the venting here is much more clear, you can, you can hear it smooth. They're there, just not like this. This is much better venting. It's interesting that the 
banner is much lower on this than this. It seems like it's in the proper location. Uh, the wiper blade here is just coming from the center of the glass, which is not accurate. It should be coming from the center of the hood. Neither is quite accurate, but this is closer. At least this is closer to the hood. It should be like right there, you know, coming through the, the hood instead of the glass. The CMs actually has harnesses. It might be hard to tell because it's such a shallow. But look, you can see red harnesses in there. Not so with the Mini GT. Uh, Alright, let's try the back view. CMs also has the staggered tailpipes, but they're just like blanked off, you know, like, like sausages. These are actually, they look like they would be hollow tubes. So I would give it up to the Mini GT there. They both have the registration plate. I feel like this one's cleaner. Something about this looks wavy or off. You'll notice this actually has silver and silver. Black and black. This one seems accurate. And this one not. This uh, also is red, but it doesn't have the black ring that I see in the rear photograph. So Mini GT has the better taillights. And then the... The mud flaps here are plastic, and they're prone to breaking, so be careful if you buy a CM's model. And then Mini GT, you'll never have that issue. So Mini GT mud flaps all the way. Because I picked away at the decal, this is actually more realistic now, like it's passing air. Uh, this is just part of the casting, the whole louver thing. But it is tampo printed, it'll never fall off, you know, it won't crack off ever. So that's your call there and what you think is more realistic. You know, this this actually has a window break because it is a separate piece. This one you don't really see any sort of, you know, crevice uh, of a window break. And it's a mystery to me as to why there are two dots popping up here. I don't know. But they both have the dot here. The, the printing there. This one, the Mini GT, has the bump there, which I see in the modern photo. But on the classic photos, I don't see this bump at all. So this is more accurate to the classic race. This is more accurate to the, the modern photo I showed you. All right. And then I guess, well, the tires are unique here. I think, well, I think Mini GT wins, maybe. The, the treads are just a little more pronounced. I don't know, it's hard to say because CMs, the treads are crisper. They have harder edges to the blocks. Whereas the Mini GT treads look a little bit worn and soft, like old soap or something. But Mini GT at least takes credit for the model they made. Uh, the CMs, they never brand their own work. And they don't tell you what the vehicle is, but so is this the problem with Mini GT. You don't know what vehicle either of these are if you buy them and you give it to someone. They'll be like, what is this? And if you forget, you can't answer them. It's kind of weird that these companies do this. You'll notice there's a registration plate on the CMs. There's not one on the front of this one. But the photographs do show that license plate. But there's no texture in this either. It's just smooth black. This has a texture. So there's a lot of trade-offs. There's a lot of good and bad to both of them. Uh, that's the what I'm getting for sure But if you actually want something that looks like the car that raced in 1977 It's CMs It simply has The things that are on the photographs What I'm gonna guess is Mini GT went to Lancia And they took photographs and scanned the car as it is today But the car as it is today Is not the car as it was in 1977 So Technically accurate, but not to 1977. All right. All right, let's look at a few other Stratos, Strato, Stratosi, Strati. This is a CM's from 1975. So it's uh, quite different. It doesn't have the little aerodynamic aids, the rear wing or the top roof wing. It has gold wheels as well. All right. This next one is 1975 San Remo version, so later, I'm assuming this is later in the season, where it did get this 
duck tail and the, the wing on top of the roof. And then this is 1977. And then I have a 1978 from from CMs as well. And yeah, that one just has a uh, headlight covers, so it's a kind of much a much weaker model. It also just has black exhaust tips. They really kind of took half a day off of work there when they made that one. But what's interesting is I think the louvers are on that one. It's a separate piece. That's interesting. This has realistic louvers on it, whereas, sorry, whereas these two, they're still molded in, although painted black. So maybe a little harsh there. This last CMs is a road racing version from the 77 Giro, Giro, Giro d'Italia. So I think that's a group five road racer. And so it's even more aerodynamically tricked out. And so the louvers are casted in on that. It actually has two mirrors and uh, it's just a different Stratos in general. Still driven by Munari. So the 75 and this one, three, and five are driven by the same guy. So that's impressive, you know, that this is why I also, th this is why I think rally car racing is better than F1. If you put Michael Schumacher into a rally car, would he be competitive? I don't know. But you can take a rally car driver and put him into a road racing car, and at least he won't, I don't know how competitive he was, but I've just never heard of a F1 driver rally racing. Not in the modern age. Okay, to the 70s, maybe that, a lot of you guys don't consider that, consider that the modern age. I consider the classic age, like World War II. <laughs> so, or, anyways. So that's it for the other Stratos, Stratos, Stratosis. Please correct me on that, the plural of it. In summary though, if you're not willing to shell out the inflated place price on eBay, you really can't go wrong with this model. You just gotta accept that maybe those decals there are gonna be problematic. But for me, I'm actually okay with it. It actually makes it look more realistic. Right, so yeah, for for the price is pretty good. I think they could have easily made it a little bit better with the headlights. They could have easily molded in some light light bulbs back there, and it would cost no difference. So that, that's the one criticism, and that's a really minor minor criticism. So am I happy to have this? Yes. And uh, am I looking forward to more rally cars from Mini GT? Yes. In fact, I'm looking forward to more anything from that brand. In particular, I'd really like to see them do more American muscle cars. Classic ones. Like classic GTOs and Mustangs and, and, uh, and the like. Because no one else does it properly. Okay, well, thanks for watching today. I'll see you in the next Mini GT video. Bye.